Steve Henderson and Mike Cosby have had a great day fishing the East Fork of the Williams Fork River so far and decide to drive up to a couple of alpine ponds that are spring-fed. After walking in and looking over the water, Steve decides to go back to the truck. He's been seeing 20 plus inch rainbows swimming around here in the pond and rising to some grasshoppers on the surface. So he's going to get a little more stout rig and Mike just decides to go in with his five weight with a hopper pattern and gives it a couple of twitches. Now look to the top right of this frame and you'll see a big fish rise. At this point, Mike decides to cast just to the left and it won't be long before there's a big fish on a dry fly. It's a big boy. Is 27 and a half. I bet we could get out of him. We let him fret. Yeah, yeah solid 27. Yeah. He ain't, he's not short at all. Wow. Way to go on a dry fly. Yeah. I think that's the biggest fish I've seen so far this year anywhere. And we're in a high alpine pond. Boy. Should we watch him swim away? I think we should watch him swim away. Let's watch him swim away. Oof. Yeah. Nice. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice fish. Cute. Thanks for your net. Yeah. <laughs> Here in Beaver Valley Ranch. Did a little bit of fishing on the East Fork of the Williams Fork. It was a little bit dirty from uh, some possible rain over the last uh, day or two. So we came up here to some ponds that get rarely fished. We might caught a beautiful 27 inch rainbow. Here's a rainbow just over 22 inches. Fun fishing. Fun fishing. A wonderful, wonderful fish. Nice meal. Let him go. Ready to go. That was fun. Wow. And after that fish, I believe you're up. All right. Big rock out there, like but he just swam past it. <laughs> I was pulling, uh, pulling my fly in for a recast, and when I pulled it across the water, I saw him actually come up. So I just roll cast back at him. Good thing this pond's only so big. I'm in in my backing. Good fish. There we go. Oh, what a hog! Hey. 
nice 27 inch fish. Look at that, my hand is completely, completely taken up by that fish. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Beauty. We're gonna let her go. She put up one heck of a battle. Get back out. What do you say, Mike? Get a little bit bigger? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see her a little, get bit a little bigger. bigger. I'd like to see her 28, 29. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's like a shark swimming in that way. Look at that. That was a great day of fishing out here at Beaver Valley Ranch. We fished the East Fork of the Lambs Fork uh, most of the day. Came up here and fished a couple of high alpine ponds. Caught some great fish everywhere. Cut, uh, wild cutthroats, we got some whitefish, got some rainbows from uh, the Williams Fork. Got some huge, huge rainbows from uh, the pond here. That was awesome. Mike, Steve, thank my you. Pleasure. Enjoyed thank it. you very much. That was a lot of fun. We ought to do it again. You hopefully soon let's do it at the beaver valley ranch scenery and wildlife surround this pristine mountain stream the east fork of the williams fork river flows out of the flat tops wilderness area west of steamboat a 50 minute drive brings you into a valley that is seldom seen and a ranch that boasts over four miles of pocket water and cut bank river if you ever wanted to catch native cutthroat trout this is your destination in addition to the beautiful cutthroats, there are mountain whitefish and rainbows willing to tug on your line. This is a good section for all skill levels and large groups. July through September is when this river is at its best.